Hey guys, Chan6957 here. You may be wondering why I'm wearing my scuba gear today, and it's because I'm going to show you and or tell you how long you can stay underwater with the proper upgrades, upgraded like diving and such. Okay, here we go. Um, it it takes a very long time, as you can see down in the left corner, that we're only now at 98%. It's it's a very long time. I'll just tell you how long it is, just for the sake of this video. It's about 8 minutes. Um, you can stay underwater for about 8 minutes and without even coming to the surface. That's probably enough to get around the island, I would think. About 8 minutes to go completely around the island. Uh, another tip I want to show you guys is that uh, under underwater base once thought impossible because there's no doors. I mean, there's there's windows that can be opened by me because they're metal but if somebody saw the space they wouldn't know how to get in there's no doors anywhere on this um the only way to get in is to swim under the base and i've created a cavern with um flooring and roof to make a passageway into my base um unless your skills for swimming are all the way up Unless they're all the way up, you aren't going to be able to get into the base, and if you are, I can obviously hear, as you can tell, you can obviously hear people swimming. This is my base, it's not really finished, I haven't really done much to it. But a bug, I mean, not so much a bug, but just something that doesn't look very good in the game is this. You put your secondary sized guns in, on the rack, and they don't hang all the way. So I think Nelson should really um, center them so it hangs on the the stock and the barrel of the gun hang on the rack, not the grip. Same with the Viper and the Honey Badger. Another thing I don't really care for is that that the display cases don't tip or tilt the item that was placed in, so it displays it. It's kind of laying down, and you can't really see it all that well. Because if I wanted it to show, I would want it standing vertical or at a little bit of a tilt just to be able to see it. Something standing like this, and I put it in there, and it's laying down. I don't really like that, but whatever. Another glitch I wanted to go over was this. If you get the uh, shutters in the window, and if you're standing in the window and press and close them, you will bounce up and down. Let's see if I can do that. Of course. Of course I would fall out of my own window when I'm trying to do something. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I jumped out my window last time trying to do this. If you stand in your own window, and you have the these shutters and you close the window while you're in it you will bounce like this come on Nelson I mean it's a simple fix it's something that should be taken care of I mean I'm bouncing okay that was just something I wanted to say and I just put it out there see if any of you guys had that problem and see if we can bring it to the front and get it fixed just to make this game the most beautiful game it can be. Okay, another tip is, as you can see, say your um, your garage is full, which obviously mine isn't. But if yours is full and you're, you, you don't want to add on to your base, you don't want to add on and over, what you can do is add up. You can move your vehicles to the roof. All it takes is uh, two of the metal, large metal siding, and you can essentially build a ramp to ramp your vehicles onto the roof for storage. And I just thought about this not long after. As you can see, I'm on the roof. I can store my cars up here. I can just dr build another ramp or go down the same ramp and just drive them down. And drive them to land and whatever the heck I want to do. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you was... Uh, a lot of people are using the oil derricks now in their base so they can have more fuel since there is a limited amount of fuel around now. There's a limited supply of fuel. But what
we can do is, say you build a base like this one, which is sloped, and the ground is sloped, and your base goes out. Can't really see it from this angle, but mine is sloped uh, towards the beach and raised off the ground, as you can see. Um, that one right there needs to go back because I don't need those. As you can see, it's it's taller than me. And a lot of people, they don't want to put their old derricks outside and have people take their fuel. So what you can do is you build a base like this, and you can take away some of the center flooring and place your oil derricks in the center here. So you can still get fuel and then you can have it all enclosed in the space and still have flooring so people can just, you know, like if this wasn't here, you couldn't just go and crawl under and then take the fuel. But another interesting thing is um, if you fall, if you fall out of your, uh, if you go to the underground, underground base idea, if you fall out of your base, you don't have to swim all the way back while you're building. If you're building the main floor and you fall in to the center of, say you got one hole in the center of your base and you fall into your base, what you can do is take the, I'll just show you on the roof, but if you fall in and you cannot get back out, what you do is uh, stand right where you're going to place it, right in the where it will be placed and you place it it'll make you pop back up onto the flooring and you can move around and not to build uh, a ramp all the way back to your base or go to your door or anything like that you can just build up okay guys that's what I wanted to show you and thanks for watching and like subscribe comment anything you guys want to do see ya